similar to like a brick and you can see the, the, the gradual growth. But I just think Nosfer is just that next level above. I reckon it might be a 2-0 to Nosfer here. 2-0. Bold prediction. I'm not going to give one because my opinion doesn't matter. And Dramas is going to start off on the Strog, going straight to Shotgun into Armor Shard. As we kick this one off, round of 16 action. Best of three, Dramas versus Nosfer. Quick Pro League Stage 1 Finals. But we just look at the matchups that's been selected here too. Nyx versus Strog and Pika. Fundamentally, Nosfer. He, on top of being able to play these high octane champions himself, he's very, very familiar with how someone will try and move around a map. His kind of re his reads based on your movement are normally sublime. Like right there, Drama's trying to go for the treat. Nosfer having that angle ready to go almost immediately. But now he can spring those traps and he can just play his sort of solid as a rock game, play around Drama's movement with those rail shots. However, when the chips are down for a fight, I think that ghost walk is going to make like a world of difference. Absolutely. It could be a panic button. He could use it aggressively. There's one good rail right there. Dramas needs to be careful not to open himself up to another one. Playing very carefully on that elbow. Still has the peeker intact just in case he wants to pop. I love the fact that Dramas has slowed it down though and he's just giving no information to Nosfer. He's walking. He's trying to make no noise. He spent this entire minute just getting bullied around the map by Nosfer because he's trying to run away and Nosfer just like tagging him over and over and over again. So now slowing it down starve Nosfer of that information. At least wow. we have the Mega. But what a shot. Ready for the jump pad. And he hits another one. Thankfully, there is a light armor to pick up the pieces. Dramis still forced to retreat just a little bit. And it looks very uncomfortable. Important rail to land. He's now instantly back in this fight. But watch out. Gets the heavy. Unchallenged. Nosfer misses the shot. And just like that, it's actually Dramis that has the stack advantage here. Nosfer went all in on that. He thought he can get the frag. Didn't work out. And now he's a little bit behind. That pickup's going to help him even the stacks just a bit. Again, Drama's not really using that peeker, waiting for the perfect time. I, I'm looking forward to seeing how he utilizes that. I mean, again, we saw Dehang play earlier, utilizing it probably the best in NA with the peeker play, I'd say. That was a great rail. Can he find another one? Barely missing out, and he's out of rails. And I think he almost missed time. He was like, wait a minute. Don't you love it when you second get your, guess yourself on items? This is something that I mentioned at the very start of the day, is how the rest of the Americas that aren't Dehang have, uh, I think, adapted to their use of peeker for strong. Because I always feel like Dehang was the only player really in the world that's truly mastered uh, the PK usage in a dual environment. I know he started on 2v2 and that's really where he innovated the character. But fundamentally, there are a few other players that I think have had a bit of a hard time learning how to use it. You know, Dramis hasn't used it once. I'm assuming it's because he hasn't found himself in the position to use it, sure. But there is this element of, you know, time and place. Dramas hasn't found the right time in three minutes. Basically playing this champion just for the slide. Popping the uh, Pika just in case. Good thing he got rid of it when he did though because Nosfer going in for the kill. Very even on stack. Who's going to get the first frag? Nosfer ticks that box. But not before taking a bunch of damage himself. Thankfully there was a Mega to pick it up. And just like that. 40. It's going to be a 1-0 for Nosfer. And he needs to get that all important rail ammo because he's going to need it. A really good frag there. Really good rail. Almost found another one there. Dramas, maybe a little bit of a movement error trying to get that slide going. Also looking pretty strong here, looking to push the advantage a little bit. Stack's about even. He does have Ghost Walk, so he could play super aggressive if he wanted. He's going to see him from down below. There's the LG. Misses with the rail follow up. Still holding on to that Ghost Walk. I think it looks like he might be using it more for on the defensive or waiting for that perfect moment, which could be after that <laughs> rail. What a flick. And then the jump over Dramas. A little bit crazy there. 25 HP needs to be careful. And there's no sign of a Mega just yet. Dramas has to resort to the small pickups just to try and stay alive. Nowhere near heavy to challenge. And with the stack that Nosfer has, it's risky. Extremely dangerous, in fact, for Dramas to try and fight. And he's going to try and disengage, create some space. Fighting for that Mega would have been a suicide mission, but it looks like Nosfer, he's kind of wise to it. He hasn't taken the Mega. There's still going to be a really nice divide. Looking to get some opening damage, and now he should be nice and healthy. Dramas is a sitting duck down here. He's going to finish the job, and it's a 2-0. Nosfer's so good at doing damage and kind of just doing a Statue of Liberty play where he's like, I know where you have to go. I'm just going to wait, and once I hear it, I'll drop. None of this double back stuff that's going to confuse me. That's the second time he's done that, second frag. 
And almost five minutes in, looking really strong. Drama's going straight at him. We'll eat a rail, might eat some LG. Here comes the shaft from Nosefa. Here comes the Peeker, and we'll count that <laughs> as a double kill as Peeker and Straw go down together as a team. I'm pretty convinced the rail went through Peeker and just hit Strog on the other side. That oh, was no. swag to legendary levels. What a crazy frag that was. Four to zero now, and Dramis, it is starting to escape him a little bit. The problem he's having is that Nosfa, he's so content to just sit there, know where he needs to be, and there's no rush. Like, th that is fundamentally how Nosfa is playing. There's no rush to do any of this. If he's near a Mega, he doesn't need to pick up the Mega immediately. Let's just step outside, do a bunch of damage to Dramis, and then when the opening damage is done, then collect Mega and jump down with a stack that he cannot survive against. I completely agree. Take the initial fight. If you take some damage, no worries, you can fall back uh -oh. to the item. Needs to be careful. And there's the rockets. Is the LG going to be enough? No. And the Mega is right there just in time. Perfect timing on Nosfa's part. And he was in perfect position. And he knew the odds. You know, take the damage. Yeah, sure. But if we can survive long enough for Mega to spawn, we can secure the frag anyway. Five to zero. Now, Dramis really in big trouble. And it's, it's kind of coming back to... And, and this isn't the only reason at all, but... Pika basically doesn't exist in this matchup so far. It is it is just a champion that can crouch slide. Dramas hasn't got a single frag yet, so the vials don't really matter. Um, it is pure just initial utility of a crouch sliding champion because Slash was banned out. And I feel like the Slash ban has made such a huge difference in how this map is going. Such a good rail into Rockets. Switches to rail, very patient. And as you said, yeah, since there no, hasn't been a lot of peeker play, he hasn't been able to deny those shards. So Nosefa, whenever he pops Ghost Walk, all the shards are available to him. So he could just pop Ghost Walk again, get that instant cooldown. And then we also look at the fact that if you're not really able to use Pika, you're essentially playing on a map where one player has an ability and you don't. And if that ability is instant invisibility and invulnerability, we've clearly seen the setups and the traps that come from that. I just think that this this one, if you're putting champions versus each other, Dramis is at a major disadvantage here. And that's going to be an absolute kill, surely. There's no way Dramis is escaping this one. That defensive rocket, it's kind of, it's okay, but it's not enough. Even now, Nosfa can barely tank a rail, especially now Heavy is in his hands. He's going to be on the warpath here. He smells blood and he's looking to finish the job. He's so close and there's the rail, looking for one more, misses a shot, but it's absolutely possible to pick up another. And Dramis is just stuck between a rock and a hard place. See you later, Pika. Don't even try and appear there. What are you doing? But try and get that rail. It's a good defensive rail, and here comes the Ghost Walk. He just wants to end it, pushing aggressively. Dramas knows something's up. He's going to try and escape, but the rail does land one and gets away. But all this running away doesn't mean anything. Nosfa's up six. And what it is doing as well is it's continuing. Yeah, it's keeping Dramas alive, but he's nowhere near anything significant. He's being forced away from Mega. He's being forced away from Heavy. Here comes another fight, looking like it's going to go in the favor of Nosfa. Yes, it will. This has just been incredibly one-sided, 40. I just think that it, the, the pick of Nyx was such a, a smart selection going into this first map. Because it's kind of, it's so, I guess after experience, you Nosfa, know, he's kind of used to how Crouch Sliders will approach this map. And I feel like Nyx is kind of like a brick wall that just sits there and goes, right, I'm going to do all this damage. And then when this close range fight comes over where you would normally overwhelm me, I can then reposition and then take you by surprise. Wonderful shot, gets traded out, but it doesn't really matter thanks to Nosfa's impressive stack. And he's looking to get the Mega. At no point has Dramas been even remotely in control here. Wow. Wonderful rail. Looking oh, for another one. Just needs one more. Give us the uh, the glory stuff. Almost hit the hat trick there. Backed off. Tried to catch him out lower, and he does so. The Brazilian looking so strong right now. 8-0. Is this going to be a shutout? Maybe. Because you know he's going to let him know. Oh, God. That's a head-on collision. And only Dramas is coming off bad in the other end of that one. A minute and a half. And I mean, this map's already over. There's there's no sugarcoating it. Nosfa's going to take this one to zero so far. And if you're Dramas, you just need to approach. How is this going on? Nosfa just has such a... And it's also a game of control, right? At no, at no point has Dramas actually been able to challenge for any of these pickups because he's never got the stack. Nosfa is hitting almost every single rail. And the ones he misses are almost impossible shots in the first place. Just complete dominance right now. Oh, God. One minute away from the shutout, and you know that Nosfa's going to pop off. He might wait until the second map, but I feel like he's going to let him know a little sum sum. Out comes the Peeker, and the Ghost Walker, a little bit of insurance right onto the Mega. Perfectly timed. Does eat another rail on the jump over, but with 45 seconds left. I mean, now he's just playing not to give up the frag at all. Now he's just being a bully. Absolutely. Take away anything that resembles momentum. However, gets caught on the stairs, but Dramis! 
Gets a little bit of damage, but once more, it's not enough. Nosfer has spent 100% of this map being the one in complete control. So when a fight happens, he just doesn't have any stack. And Nosfer's able to hit everything. So fundamentally, this has just been uh, the Brazil show. I think 40 is an accurate way of just describing this first map. Dramas just trying to avoid getting 10 0'd, but looks like an impossible task and a great way for Nosfer to start this off. A little bit of a neck stretch to refresh as we're now going to go into map number two. Oh. oh, seven HP and just couldn't close out. And that's in just absolutely dominant performance. There's nothing else to say about that as he takes a slight swig of water. He's like, on to the next one. But what really just happened there was a game of patience. Nosfer being, you know, he, he can be really sporadic when he wants to be, but there's really just no need for it when you have a strategy against someone who you know is going to actively kind of try and move around the map constantly really fast. One of the, I suppose, drawbacks of Strog, yes, he's a crouch sliding champion, but he doesn't have, like, the initial burst of speed double. that Slash can have. Bam. Oh, oh, so good. One of the coolest looking You rails. and your crew. <laughs> 2v1, what? Who cares? But, I mean, that was just a game of Nosfer knowing really kind of what Dramas' escape options would be. It kind of looks like two players that I imagine have scrimmed a fair amount in the past. I think they have gotten a lot of reps together. Again, in QPL official games, only one set that went 2-1 to one to Nosva. He's playing so strong right now, it might just go 2-0 this time around, unfortunately for Dramas. But yeah, hopefully for him, he can mentally reset. Maybe this was just a, a bad first map. But Nosva's just so strong right now. Representing Brazil, he takes pride in that. He loves the added pressure, and uh, he's at rising to the occasion right now against Dramas. But these land performances, look at the pickups. In the course of one 10-minute map, 16 mega, 11 heavy. And every time it kind of, even if it did go in the favor of Dramas, it was just nothing that Nosfer was worried about. Um, but I mean, it was a game of, he established control at the very beginning, and then throughout the course of the entire map, Dramas was just never in a position to even begin to challenge it. Constantly on the back foot. I think there was one or two fights that were just out of reach. One 10 HP maybe on Nosfa, but after that it was smooth sailing. It was just utter dominance. It was a game of rail as far as I was concerned. Those rails from range just consistently shut down Dramas. Oh, he's getting serious. Oh, he's getting serious. Is this like, like that was just a warm-up game. Now I'm going beast mode. If you can secure a 2-0 though after not playing, because we're quite late on in the day here for the it's, Stage it's, 1 Finals. It's been a day. It's been a day of Quake. I'm sure a lot of these players are uh, starting to hit that fatigue. Oh, for but sure. And that's tournament environment, baby. you got to be ready. But it's worth mentioning to the viewers at home, you know, that these aren't their first games of the day. There is a, a rather extensive practice room that everyone's able to sit down and get yeah. warmed up before their matches. So these will not be their first matches. They will be their first tournament matches of the day, though, which we all know is different to... Completely different. When you're sitting at home crowd. and grinding. There's, there's so many people out there right now. I this really want to give a shout stacked. out to this wonderful crowd. I, the, the Luca Comics and Games Festival is such an eye opener. An entire town that just becomes a convention space. If anyone is ever on the fence about coming to Luca Comics and Games, I cannot recommend it enough. But it's going to be Molten Fools Dramas going on with a slightly slower paced champion in that visor. But I think the added information, I think that's actually quite important because so far Nosfer has kind of pretty much been the constant brain of the operation. Uh, and if Dramas is able to play a champion where he just gets that extra trump card, the extra bit of vision, I feel like against with just how much of a lid Nosfer's had on how Dramas is approaching it. He needs that extra info, like desperately. I like that play a lot, just, you know, being really patient, trying to make sure the rockets aren't free, and Dramas Wonderful. punishes it. LG, Dramas had the same idea. He's like, you guard the rockets, I'll guard the LG, and we'll see who breaks first. And Dramas is the one to break through 1-0. Popping that piercing sight to spring the attack. Before I can even finish talking about how the piercing sight's probably going to be quite useful for this matchup. And here's the first tool that secures the first frag. And we're already one minute in. Dramas has a little bit of that momentum. Not too much of a delay, though, in between the major, the, uh, major pickups. So we'll see how that one's going to unfold. Looks like Dramas heavily preferring heavy in this situation. Looking for a rail, of which he's able to land one. Probably can't quite hit the angle for the last one, but he's trying to push out. Really trying to get some bonus damage, force Nosfer away, collect the heavy later, and now we're nicely stacked to go and fight towards what might be a mega fight, or at least nearby. I like pri prioritizing those shards. Definitely want vision back. Nosfa trying to fight him off with rockets. Good LG coming out. There's the dire for misdirection. Dramas doesn't bite. Pops the vision. Can he find the angle? And no. No 
Most of us stays out of sight, but that was an incredible amount of damage from Dramas. That's going to open him up to grab the Mega, the Heavy, unfortunately. Nos was pretty away. starved of pickups. Fortunately, the uh, lights have respawned near rail, so he's able to more than stop the bleeding. I think it's really unfortunate for Dramas that he couldn't finish that. That's the kind of momentum that you really want to score a 2-0 as early as possible. He was able to survive, and a bit of a, a rare, complete misfire on the orb from Nosfer. You're normally expecting him to really hit his mark on those kind of shots, but not going to be Dramas' problem, that's for sure. I feel like that was a ready. panic orb where it was like, look over there, please, just look away, and Dramas wasn't having it. He's like, that doesn't go anywhere, I know that. There's the vision popped again, looking for a rail, a little bit of tribal coming out from Nosefa. Trying to move in on this heavy, he wants it real bad, but Dramas is going to take it again. He's also going to take that rail, needs to be careful here. Important rails to undo the damage, and he's going to get some LG. It's going to give Dramas a little bit of a speed boost, though. Thank you very much, mate. Unfortunately, Dramas forced to retreat a little bit. It's going to force him away, and he's going to have to concede that Mega. Dramas has kind of spent almost 100% of this map on the heavy side. I'd be interested to see how he eventually tries to push out. But he can really sit on the lead that he's established. Yes, it's only one frag, but it is control. Unfortunately now, tagged by the rail. Nosfer's just going to do the maths, go in for the kill for the orb, but he's not able to finish it. Nosfer forced to retreat. A pear-shaped fight, but thankfully, he's able to escape with his life. Both players are going to disengage, and Dramas, for the first time, sitting around Mega. And now there should be plenty of pickups around. Fortunately, that light armor is going to spawn. Piercing Sight's going to give him that information. Forces away. He's at least going to get timing on that Mega, so it's better than nothing. Good rail from Dramas there. The return fire from Nosfa won't land. Still a one frag lead for Dramas. This could be bad, pinning himself into a corner. Nosfa's going to move in. He's going to hit a great rail. Dramas railable now, but there comes the Dire Orb to get out. Ah, uh, Dire Orb's so smart. It's, it's so common that you give up a free rail by dropping down near Teleporter. Dire Orb just says, you know what? No free damage for you. One train ticket out of here, please. First class. Here comes that piercing sight used again. Lands a wonderful wow. rocket and the rail to boot Nosfer. Force on the back foot, but Dramas, he's very mindful of those defensive shots. He knows he has the stack to win the fight. However, if he walks into one rail and he's quite out of position, it can easily go the wrong way. And uh, what's the rush, right? Let's keep the one frag lead. Go get heavy. Back to the drawing board. Back where we started. As a stranglehold on that heavy here is that rail will come in and miss just above the shoulder, it looked like. Drama's more than happy to take this and uh, keep playing his game. Nosfa has to try and find a way through this defense of Dramas's here. Bit of an awkward rail angle to hit from this height, but it is going to hit its mark, Nosfa. Once again, tagged. As long as Dramas keeps hitting these rails, it's going to make life for Nosfa very, very difficult indeed. Should be some audio, though, coming through. Goes in for the orb once more. Orb failing to hit its mark, and he punishes it with the rail. nosfer has been having a really hard time with those orbs, 40. Not a single one has hit its mark yet. Yeah, it's absolutely unfortunate, but Dramas is not afraid to play his game, making Nosfa come to him, and it's working beautifully. 2-0. It's not huge in terms of frag differential. It's not super fancy, but it's working, and a W is a W, and that's what Dramas needs right now. Five minutes in, two frag lead. I love it. Easier said than done, but simply all he has to do is keep doing what he's doing for another five minutes, and this is going to be a one-to-one. -one. But it's, it's this natural change of pace. The fact that Nosfer hasn't really been able to seize these fights, he's taken so much damage that by the time he uses the orb, it almost feels a little bit like a desperation orb rather than one that's calculated to go in, you know, combo in with something else. And this, this visor pick, it's making such a difference. It's allowing these rails, and every time a rail connects, Nosfer has to disengage. He has to wait for another rotation because he can't realistically confidently take a fight unless he knows he has a really large stack to compete. And uh, missing another rail. I almost feel like a complete flip of what happened in map number one is now happening to Nosfer on the receiving end. That rail misses as well. That would have been a free frag. Goes in for the orb. Doesn't choose to teleport to it. Dramas trying to restock. Runs out of rockets though. This should be the opening. Nosfer absolutely scores that one. One to two. Unfortunate that Dramas would run out of rockets right when he didn't want to, but... Not for capitalizing nicely. And now this comeback just became totally viable. Caught by a wonderful rail, though. Yeah, it's such a difficult position to get caught out with rockets because you have to fire up the stairs. It's just a really, really hard shot to hit regardless. And now Nosfa looking to tie it here. Needs to be careful. That's a great donk there. Full on 100. But he's going to have to disengage and grab these 225s. Heavy's going to be up. That's going to be conceded, but he is going to grab the Mega. Might take a rail here, depending on if Dramas drops down, but it looks like he's just going to go through elbow, maybe collect some shards to try and get that vision back up. 
And Dramas is safe to assume that Nosfer has taken the Mega by now. Piercing Sight to give him the information. However, Nosfer is nice and stacked, actually. One of the first times he could potentially take a fight, and if he plays his cards right, might be able to come off on top. However, he's still the one that has to press the advantage. Dramas is so comfortable just sitting on a one frag lead. If he can catch those rails, teleports in with the orb to engage, hits a rail. Okay, that's really good because it's forced Dramas away from the heavy. And now with the Mega about to spawn, Dramas way too timid to go for that Mega. It's all about the aim of the game, keeping the lead. It's a tiny lead, but if he can win off this one frag, he's got this far, but no, the turnaround. Nosfer catches him out of position, and because Dramas just didn't fight for any of the pickups, there was no way he was winning that fight. So much stack LG on LG. Nosfer's going to win that 100% of the time. Now, might be able to push this advantage after this heavy pickup. Mega shortly after. Nosfer just running the items now. Drama's playing a little bit too timid for his own good. He needs to be really careful here. Nosfer gonna grab the Mega from underneath. Drama's is gonna drop down on him, but he's gonna need a lot of LG. The orb doesn't even, not even necessary. He uses the rail instead. Had the orb, I thought he was gonna go for the shove at three to two. As we're rounding the eight minute mark. And this is, this is where it's dangerous for Drama's here. He kind of took his foot off the gas way too early. And now Nosfer punishing. There's this game of, you know, playing defense still means you have to fight people away from those mega, those major pickups. Because the moment you let someone take it and they can run rampant, I mean, we just saw what happened. The moment Dramas got caught around that corner near rail, that was all she wrote. And, and even if he hit loads of his shots, he pretty much wasn't going to survive that fight. He was caught off guard and the damage was too real for him to survive. But I really think he went for that hyper defensive play a bit too early for you really dangerous to play not to lose and now he's got to force himself into a situation like this which Nosfa is more than happy to take. There's the Dire Orb up, Heavy is grabbed, he won't take the orb, instead he'll rocket jump out, wow. Rails exchanged. A little bit of a crazy play from Nosfa perhaps giving Dramas an in there, needs to be careful, two seconds to the Mega, a little bit of Tribolt Spin coming out, Dramas trying to fire some rockets and get some damage and he's going to have to chase, there's a good Rail, Rails exchanged as Nosfa hits his. He's going to grab a 25. That's going to put him out of rail range for now. Drama's still hurt. Also trying to restack as best he can, but time keeps on ticking. A much better room for Nosfa to retreat to, though, thanks to the inclusion of the light armor. Dramas only has the health orbs if he gets hit by one rail and then some. He's in a bad spot. The Mega's about to spawn soon, but again, Dramas, he's been quite consistently starved of regular pickups. The light is just about to spawn, but only just. And even then, it's not a stack to, to really worry about compared to the amount of armor that Nosfa is currently sitting on. It is the just short of the one minute warning has now gone through. Nosfa only has a few more seconds to play with and he can play that runaway game. This very well might be the last piercing sight that we realistically see Dramas get the chance to use. He's going to get some tribal, but not before taking much damage himself. Has to watch out. There is no armor available and Dramas has to pick this fight very carefully. Nosfa could very easily turn this round. 95 rocket. damage. Count it up. And now he's railable. And there, there it is. And I think Nosfa just stole the show right here. Four to two, 15 seconds left, and time keeps on slipping into the future as Nosfa with a bit of a space jam right there. And just one last kill with a shotgun. Why not? That's going to be 2-0 to Nosfa over Dramas. And that is quite a performance there from the Brazilian player. I mean, he played from behind for a lot of the map. The moment he smelt blood in the water, he went straight in there and didn't waste the opportunity. Well played. Sad to see Dramas go as always, but I mean,